So, there are different kinds of nonverbal communications. Nonverbal communication basically means it's an elaborate code written nowhere, but it is understood by everyone. And more messages are sent nonverbally than verbally. And you could break it down to. Break it down. Yes, you can break it down into different components. So the first kind is kines, kines, kinesics. Kinesics. And why can't I pronounce the word? I don't know. But it's called kinesics. Video. Oh, I am. It's kinesics. And, oh, I um, you're making a video. And it's anything that has to do with the body, the way you talk, the, I mean, the way you touch people or the way you place yourselves. And the first kind of kinesics is emblem. You so emblem is music. you. <laughs> Emblems are ever. like body movements that can be translated into a word or a phrase. So like, okay is an emblem. Or like, this is an emblem. And this emblem has a few downfalls, which is it's not cross culture. So this means fuck you in Afghanistan, and this means you. This yeah, this is what it means. Are you serious? Yeah, there are also universal gestures you like serious? this is like eating for all you cultures, or like this is like sleeping for all cultures. You and also this mean yeah, that's what it means. It means fuck you. So, George. But we're in America. <laughs> so this is a good job. We're okay, in so the second kind of kinesics is illustrators, and illustrators is like a movement, or that is accompanied by some kind of message. So when I say yes, and I'm nodding my head, so it's like yes, I'm saying I'm doing both of them at the same time. But if I say this guy's crazy. That means you're crazy, but this movement is an illustrator. It illustrates your points that you're saying. And then the third type is affect display, which means you're conveying emotion. So if I'm sad, I'd be like, or if I'm happy, I'd be like, so that's also a kinesics because I'm smiling. So it's affect display. The fourth kind is called regulators, and regulators are just movement that can t that maintain like oh my god like talking flow like what I'm doing with my hands right now. So <coughs> if I'm talking to you and I'm like, that means go on. So keep going. Or if I go, yeah, I understand. That's what my nod is saying. So that's a regulator of talking. <coughs> the fifth kind is the adapter. So the adapter helps us. Uh, helps us feel more comfortable. So we manipulate our bodies so that we adapt to the environment. So we can go like, oh, this is so shameful. So we're like, I'm not with him. He's too embarrassing. I'm just showing that I don't belong to him by also feeling he is embarrassing. George, you're embarrassing. I'm what? You're embarrassing. Nigga? Or like I could be like, he did not just say that. He did not just say that. So, I'm adapting to what the universe would think if he said that out loud to the whole world. I'm adapting. So, well, of course, there are certain movements that we can't fit into a section with a name. We can't label it. So, um, we could say nonverbal communication can also be from, like, <coughs> your handshake. Your handshake, is it firm? Is it not? You know that tells your um, your guest what a little bit about yourself as well, and also height. It's a nonverbal communication. How tall are you? It matters because a lot of executives are taller than usual, and a lot of the presidents are tall. And um, the eyebrows, what you do with your eyebrows. You know this part of your face is the most genuine part of your face because. Um, it's harder to control, so um, if you see genuine interest in somebody's this part of the face, it's probably more genuine than just a smile, because a smile can be fake. Yep, and that concludes my um, video on nonverbal communications for this section, for kinesics.